in my previous engine swap video you may have noticed other engines on my engine list in my tuning parts and one of them is for this car it is the 2JZ Supra so just go back to the stats 231 horsepower it's a 2,000 or 2.3 liter approximately and then let's go and swap it with this all the information of the changes to the car are displayed right here it's a brand new um, GR86 so now it's 2 liter 325 horsepower now this is a this is the right amount of horsepower for this car. I should have said three liter. However, the weight is a little bit different. I didn't pay attention to the weight. You can look it up uh, on the video by rewinding. So there's that engine. And now there is an engine for this car, which I'm not that excited about because I mean, this is a pretty nice car for its time, but so let's look at the stats. But I prefer a better car. Let's see, uh, 171 horsepower, 1.8 liter, and 2,500 pounds. Again, all the information is displayed right here. And I don't, I need a replacement for this car so I can have a stock one. So it's my uh, the only one I had 246 horsepower 2 liter um, turbo I think right yeah turbo and I don't even remember what the weight was so anyway let's drive them I'm using a controller right now because it's still pretty warm I don't feel like getting sweaty right now so I'm going to drive this one these horsepower numbers aren't spectacular they're definitely a big upgrade for the car so I'm not going to do the um, special stage route X I'm going to do I think it's a Cuba it's got to be it's got to be it's a Cuba I don't have very very much grip in the car. I have the stock tires. Pardon my stuttering. It's just a tick, a, a seemingly innocuous tick I have in my speech pattern that I'm trying to work out. So let's see what the settings are. Comfort mediums with soft springs and everything. No mods. So I'm playing with the controller, so I have the counter steer assist on do some drifting Like I said, these horsepower figures aren't spectacular.
So in the grand scheme of Gran Turismo, it seems like a pretty underwhelming performance change, considering what else is cap what else I'm capable of driving in the game. But for this car, it's it's a pretty big upgrade. And now the GR86 Let's watch this a little bit. And those tires are skinny. Probably like 185s or something. Maybe less than 185s, 155? No, 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 definitely not. I'm thinking in the two range. 185s probably. Seems pretty standard, especially for an Econo box. I think the GR86 comes stock with around 200 millimeter wide tires. So I'm comparing that car to this car. So these are slightly skinnier. Okay. Now, the other car. So this is turbo, okay. Check out the settings. It's got sports hard tires. I'm surprised it doesn't show the tire width in the, the which one call it? The information sheet on the left, no mods. Oh yeah. A little sloppy throttle input. But feel that I mean you can't feel that acceleration, but look at that acceleration. I mean it's not again, it's not spectacular compared to what's available in Gran Turismo, but for this car, that's the right amount of horsepower. But for, what do you call it, um, homologation standards, having this much horsepower requires a bigger car because of the crash safety requirements to get the chassis homologated in specific countries. So this car can only be modified to have around 350 horsepower. So realistically, if someone wanted to get a Toyota with around three to 400 horsepower, just get the Supra. But if you live in, at least in America, if you live in a state that allows for, or has looser smog regulations, you can modify, easily modify a GR86 to have 350 horsepower, maybe even with the stock engine and a lot of boosts. Let's see if I can get some good drifts with the controller. All right, I'm using Excuse me, I got a tongue twister on easily pronounceable words. 
I'm using sports hard tires, so it's going to be hard to drift this car with this much horsepower. Meaning it's not enough horsepower for the sports tires. Kind of do it. I think there's a flaw in the extreme heat simulation of tires in Gran Turismo where there's too much grip with really, really hot tires. So if I were to balance the throttle properly in a drift, the tires would get hot but they'd maintain a specific temperature. But if I were to floor the throttle and extremely over, was it, not over rev, but um, spin up the tires um, excessively, there would be even more heat, allowing the car to slide easier, whereas, whoa, with these, these tires, there's just too much grip to overcome the grip with horsepower under around four or five hundred horsepower. Anyway, that was fun. Let's watch the replay. I think the the 86 has 205s. It's around 200 millimeters. Most people usually oversize them to 255s on the same stock tire or stock rims, I mean. My driving definitely does not look very good with the controller. I think these sports hard tires are way too grippy for this car. Unless the the newer version of this car was updated with grippier tires. Supposedly they were the original GT86 was supposed to come with Prius tires from the factory and those would be more like the comfort hard and even the comfort hard tires are really good street tires they're like really good all season tires oh went off track there anyway that's that Till the next one.